Purple Rain. Shots out to Prince. Guys, legendary song, legendary movie. Anyway, so I realize this video is a little on the late side, child. Actually, this is the night the new episode of Drag Race come on. So I'm just going to give my quick, brief uh, opinions on, on this past episode, um, child. <clears throat> The girls are split up in two teams. Is it two teams? Yeah, it's two teams. We have Team Manny because she won the lip sync last week against June Jambalaya, who was the first girl to officially go home. Um, and then it was Team Willow because Willow won the challenge last week. Um, so Kennedy, Jasmine, Jasmine Kennedy, and um, Cornbread Chate, they are having issues back and forth. Apparently, Kennedy is a shadow box. Kennedy is really young. All the girls on this season is super duper young. And it just don't mess, mesh well with Cornbread's personality. Um, although, I'm glad that this is a group of girls that call each other out on their mess, it seems. In my opinion, Cornbread was laying it on a little thick. Especially when it came time to work together. Because... Uh, Orion Story and Jasmine Kennedy, they got picked last to be on the team, and nobody picked Jasmine Kennedy at all. So, um, she got the opportunity to pick the team she wanted to be on for the challenge, and she chose the team with Cornbread. And everybody was just like, yo, like, is she gonna be able to get along with Cornbread? Like, what's T? What's T? And they were kind of going back and forth. Um, but Cornbread was doing a little bit too much, and I think she realized that and she like was like okay i'm just gonna chill out um the way that they worked it out was in the challenge uh it was carrie cornbread and um jasmine and they were in the mirror they were doing a skit they were in the mirror and um they was making a big thing about jasmine talking too much which is something she do already so it was perfect it worked out and i'm glad that they were able to settle the their um issues you know in that regard because we already know what it could have gave um cornbread being black and jasmine being white i'm just saying can we can we talk or can we talk now um george is, is kind of quiet she seems like she's a little shy, a little unsure of herself at times. Um, but her drag persona is everything, right? So you wouldn't think that she was she was that way, but your drag persona has it's you, but it, it's this a amped, hyped up version of yourself. You know, it, it's not who you are as a person um, all the time, and so you know maybe. Uh, George's as a person is not the same as George's in drag. Um, anyway, uh, Angeria, she was in the group with uh, Maddie. Her and Deja was going back and forth. They was reenacting the famous scene with Shangela and Mimi on first on Drag Race season three. When, um, what's the name of saying that, you know, you got a sugar daddy and whoop to whoop. And it was just so funny. Jerry's uh, told Deja, you ugly bitch. It was so funny. And her accent and everything. Um, So they did well. And then Willow, she killed it in, in her team. Uh, we get to the runway. I There's not one... It was it was look of the um, look of a thousand J-Lo's, right? That was, that was the category for the runway that was that was you know the tea so everybody had to pull off a famous j-lo look from whenever right and let me think um that was really that i can think of mm -mm. that was really not one look that i did not like overall there was no bad looks i should say um I mean, the, I saw certain things where I would have changed the wig or changed the make, like Bosco, for instance. Um, you know, she has the signature Bosco eyebrows that did not work at all with that gown, in my opinion. Um, Zaya Betty, her, the wig, the hairline on the wig was bothering the hell out of me. Cornbread, 
she looked great. This is her best look so far on the runway. She looked great, but um, the hair, the flat hair, it's just not. It's just not working for me. You know, cornbread is a big girl, is a thick girl, and her with this flat hair, it's just not. It's not it. It's just you need like to balance it out. Not saying you gotta wear extra huge hair all the time, but there needs to be some kind of balance because there's no balance. It's just you know. And then this flat, no hair. So it's like, come on. And I'm a big, broad, you know, person myself. So it's like, come on, now proportions, darling. But she did look beautiful, like I said. Um, the judges want Carrie to stop being so pretty and just stop be okay with getting ugly and getting down and dirty. Could Carrie do it? Yeah. But, you know, when so much of you, who you are is wrapped up in... How pretty you are, how you look, and, and just trying to be the top-notch fish, so to speak. It's like, how do you break out of that, you know? And Carrie got something going on with her mouth. I don't know if she can... I don't know if it's the Botox or, or what it quite is. But, um, you know, like I said before, from the... from the um, When we was watching the Meet the Queens, I didn't think I was going to like Carrie. I absolutely like her. I didn't think I was going to like Alyssa. Um, I absolutely like her. Absolutely. I think Carrie's hilarious. I like Alyssa. All that good stuff. I, I, you know, this is a great, this is a lot of likable girls on this season. Absolutely. Orion's story. Um, I like Orion. Um, but still often gives me man in drag. And I don't know why. Very pretty. Very, you know. That walk, it gives me man. The, the, her lack of makeup. I don't know if she paints. I don't know. Maybe she's just one of those natural. Like Tatiana. Tatiana on season two. You know, very pretty. Um, and, you know, she didn't use use a lot of makeup back in the day. She was still giving what she needed to give, right? Um, but now Tatiana, she wears paint. Like... She beats her face down and she's still just pretty. She's like a just a beautiful woman. Um and Orion and maybe that could be the case with Orion's story. I do think Orion's story is pretty, but very still, you know. Whatever. So I, I don't know. And then the walk and Manny Morphis is that walk. I don't know. It's just it's just giving me King of the Hill. You would think what you got on heels and wigs and makeup that you would learn how to walk like a damn woman. But my God, Maddie, I know you straight, but shit. Like, do you got to keep reminding us? Walk, walk like a child. Somebody help Maddie out with her walk. And then she be ready, like she be rushing off the damn stage. Child, maybe it's just nerves. I don't know. Um, but Maddie has a really uh, cute face. Um, What else is going on? Who ended up in the bottom was um, Carrie Colby and Alyssa Hunter. They uh, danced to uh, lip sync to uh, Jennifer Lopez play. Carrie was so concerned about not messing up the dress, the actual gown that J-Lo wore. Um, which I know she paid a grip for that. However the hell she had to get it. So she was worried about messing that up. That she didn't really get it in. Get it in like that. But we gonna see. Uh, Carrie, you know, I think she's super talented and beautiful and all the good stuff. And funny as hell. Especially when her and Cornbread and Jerry get together. It's just funny. Um, but uh, she don't strike me as like a strong lip syncer anyway. Carrie, but I mean, we gonna see. We gonna see. Y'all know drag is is it encompasses everything, child. So we gonna see. But she, but in my opinion, Alyssa Hunter won the lip sync. But who ended up getting sent home was Alyssa Alyssa Hunter because the drag gods. Y'all know this whole season with the whole chocolate bar. If the girls get a chocolate bar, um, then they go home. But if they end up with the golden bar. Then they get to stay another week in the competition. They get to be safe. Which is, well, how the hell do you determine? Like, it's how many chocolate bars is it? Is it just one? And this is still the beginning of the season. Ain't nobody finna save these girls this quick. 
They ain't gonna do nothing but save the fan favor, whoever that is. And so it's just like, how do you determine? You know, it's just so. I get doing something different and stuff, but it's just it's weird to me. It's just weird. Um, the whole chocolate bar thing. Just send these hoes home and call it a day, um, child. Just at least for the next what, maybe three or four episodes. Ain't nobody getting no damn chocolate bar. Pick and see if you got the lucky bar. None of them got the lucky bar. The only people that's gonna have the lucky bar is is, is if they do. Like, the girls leave and then end up coming back, as they always do, or when they get to the top five or top six or something like that. You're not this early in the competition, child. Everybody getting chocolate. Anyway, shout out to Alyssa Hunter. She's going to be all right. She's beautiful, man. Beautiful. And, and a fierce, fierce uh, drag queen. Um, And, you know, the, these girls that are getting out of the competition early, they're going to be fine. And they're going to come back swinging. And they're going to come back hungry. You hear me? For that all-star season, child. They're going to come back. And, and they're going to be on it. And they and I'm going to be with it. All right. Now, y'all stay tuned for my um new drag race a review coming up soon, child. Probably tomorrow or the next day. Who knows? With that said, I'm Mr. Chalaki. Mr. Chalaki on Google+. Plus. Follow me. At this kids on Instagram and Twitter. Ooh, y'all heard that belt slip out. Uh, see, Carrie, uh, us pretty girls, Carrie, Carrie, Kobe, you listening? Uh, us pretty girls, you know, we got to, can't be afraid to be ugly. And you see, I just released that, that good old belch out of nowhere. You know, that ain't nothing to be ashamed about. And I smell it at the same time. With that said, I'm Mr. Chalaki. Mr. Chalaki on Google Plus. Follow me at Excuse on Instagram and Twitter. At Excuse on 89 on Snapchat. Chase King on Facebook. Mr. Chalaki on Cash App and PayPal. And as always, run me my money or run me my fade. Run me my money the way I get paid. Stay black, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys later.